Assalamu alaikum 7th class this is your professor Saba Aruj and I hope you all are doing very well inshallah with the blessings of Allah so we are going to start this lecture of today with the name of Allah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and here we proceed I want you all to please manage up yourself for your study routine and please make sure that you are giving proper time to your studies because your exams are approaching start your revision session on your own as we are going to have a revision session of subjects regarding your studies as well but you have to maintain a proper time for your studies in home as well so you can succeed inshallah so today we are going to discuss unit number 6 atmospheric humidity and precipitation and today the topic of our lecture is types of precipitation importance of precipitation and types of clouds these are the long questions 1 2 and 3 on page number 63 till 64 so please turn over the page page number 63 and here we have and here we have the long question number 1 which will have the explanation of types of precipitation first of all we will learn that what precipitation is the fall of water drops on the surface of earth in liquid or solid form is known as precipitation there are three types actually four types of precipitation rainfall snowfall hailing and sleet let's have the explanation of each type rainfall when air moves up from earth surface in the form of water vapors then bigger water drops fall down in the form of rain types of rainfall orographic convectional rainfall cyclonic or cyclonic rainfall snowfall when humid air reaches at the point in atmosphere where the temperature is below freezing point they fly in air and fall on earth it is known as snow falling hailing when the water vapors are taken by the air in areas where atmospheric temperature is below freezing point then water vapors freeze and form hails which falls on earth sleet the combination of rainfall and snowfall is called sleet these drops contain liquid water inside but earth's outer covering is hard now we will discuss about importance of precipitation and following are the points which will describe the importance of precipitation number 1 precipitation is very necessary for all kinds of reservoirs in hilly land and desert areas the storage of water in the reservoir increases through rain in rivers streams and lakes number 3 when rain water absorbs in earth's surface it increases the resources of underground water water is the most important component in making human animal and plant body Number 5 the plant kingdom will be vanished without water Now we will turn over the page and we will discuss the next point The next sixth point is survival on earth without water is impossible number 7 water is used in a large amount in industries number 8 water acts as backbone in the field of agriculture number 3 long question which is about types of clouds clouds are under specific conditions the water vapors present in atmospheric gather above sea surface in the form of droplets these droplets form clouds following are the types of clouds low level clouds mid level clouds high level clouds vertically developed clouds low level clouds are found about 2000 meters above sea level 
Mid-level clouds are found 2,000 to 6,000 meters above sea level. These clouds are found above 6,000 meters above the surface of sea. Vertically developed clouds are a special kind of clouds. They tend to expand towards height. Usually expansion in these clouds is about 1,000 to 12,000 meters. Cluminous and cumulonimbus are included in this type of clouds. So, this is it for today's lecture. And now the time for learning task. You must learn this lesson by heart and be prepared for weekly test at the end of the week. Learn correct spellings and do a written practice which is must. So this is it. Take good care of yourself students and especially your parents. Allah Hafiz.